Welcome back to Clutch Drinks Crazy Sodas on YouTube. These aren't necessarily sodas. They are sparkling, so I guess that might make them sodas. Soda. Soda. -i. We're looking at three different flavors of the La Croix. La Croix. I don't know. I don't speak French, but I know that you take a bunch of the letters and you don't say them. And that's French. I have three of them. I got them at work. They're free. And... I have an elaborate cup set up going because I'm going to try each of them individually. I'm going to try each of the, the two combinations, and I'm going to try all three of them mixed together. And uh, maybe I'll find a combination that's not terrible because I hear these are not great. But if this is what you're into, then they probably are great. The flavors include lime, which I have high hopes for, but I know it won't be good. Uh, passion fruit, and pomplemos, which is grapefruit. Is, 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 is that, is that French for grapefruit? Is that what that means? I, I don't know. I'm going to just call it grapefruit. Grapefruit, which I like as a flavor for sodas, especially. Grapefruit, passion fruit, lime. Okay. So, this might take a while. I guess I'll do you a solid and give you give you this view here. All right, see all the business. Here's the lime. We're gonna put some lime in here, and that's the uh, that's the lime only. We're going to. This one is the passion fruit. I'm gonna put some in there. That's the passion fruit only. This is the grapefruit. I gotta look up if pamplemousse means um, grapefruit in French, or if it's just some kind of weird play on words or something. I don't know. That's that's that one out there. Oh look, you're out of focus. That's great. That's great. Stay like that. Turtles. That's the all right, the, the black ones are the individual flavors. Now we're going to have like this one is going to be these two cans and this one's going to be these two cans. And this one's going to be these two cans. And then this one in the middle is all three craziness. So I'm going to put some of this here and here and here. Likewise, I'm going to put some of this here and here. here. Now, if I set this all up ahead of time, I don't know. It would have been weird. Now you get to see. I'm not cheating. And then the lime one, some of it there, some of it there, and some of it there. All right. The ratios are all... Approximate. So let's check out the lime one first. Doesn't really smell like much. Oh yeah, that just that just tastes like straight tonic water. Wow. Natural lime flavor, sparkling water, no calories, no artificial sweeteners, sodium no, sodium free. Wow, that tastes like tonic water. I don't even see how there's lime involved. You know what? It tastes like tonic water that you squeezed uh, one like wedge of lime into. There's a little bit of lime there, like you, like you bit a lime. Okay, so that's that. We'll um, just pour the rest in there. Do the passion fruit over here. Okay, so that has a that has a scent to it. That smells like passion fruit. That smells like a, a candle. So this one, maybe the flavor is stronger. Wow, that's because that doesn't have a tonic water taste at all. That's very interesting. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? 
Okay. So that's a real mild, sparkling passion fruit flavored thing. That that one's better than the lime so far. Grapefruit's last. It's over here. Let's try the individual one for that. Alright, I'm not... I'm getting very little grapefruit. About as much grapefruit as I had lime. Other than that, just tastes like uh, bland, sparkling water. Nothing great there. These poured out. Alright, now we're going to do the combinations. So, let's do um, the lime and grapefruit one is here. I smell the grapefruit, but not the limes. The grapefruit overpowered the lime scent. Uh. Yeah, it doesn't taste like much of anything. They could call that another flavor and probably get away with it and not actually reveal that it's those two mixed. That's that. Let's do um, lime and passion fruit because I think this one might be the best two combination. Let's try this one. Passion fruit definitely taking the scent. It's not bad. It tingles a little bit. Yeah, tonic water flavor is kind of mixing in in a weird way. All right, passion fruit and grapefruit. Oh man, it's gonna be a long, stupid video. Yeah. Not not great. I mean, I feel like the passion fruit on its own is probably the only good one so far. Good is subjective. And this is all three mixed. Now, I don't know how well they mingle in there. Let's see what it smells like. It just smells like the passion fruit again. It's a pretty strong smell. Let's see. So the other two say flavored. Natural lime flavored and natural pamplemousse grapefruit flavored. This one says natural passion fruit essenced. Like past tense. Essenced. <coughs> Does that mean it's not actually flavored with passion fruit? Does that mean that it's only good it's the only good one because it's not like the other ones? Uh. Oh jeez. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's just getting really muddled when you combine that many things. So let me go back to the passion fruit here because I think that was the only good one. Yeah, I... I, mean, I don't like any of them, but I would, I would hazard the passion fruit one again if I had to. If I was, if I was at a get together and everything was drank already except for a can of natural passion fruit essence sparkling water, La Croix. Um, I would, uh, I go, okay, I'll craw today. La Croix. Uh, I know I'm probably saying it horribly wrong, but I don't care. The guys at work are calling it La Crew, which, I mean, I think that's accurate, but without the accent. I think that's how that you pronounce the letters, but not with an accent. I don't know. Okay, gross. I'm going to dump all this out, and then I'll do an actual crazy one. I have three, three Mountain Dews coming up. All old ones. All from... Uh, let's go by. It's Matt. It's Matt from my lug. King of the Mats. 
I thought he had... No, I guess that is it. I thought he had another name somewhere else, but no. Uh, King of the Mats. He's on Instagram. Go find him. He gave me three Mountain Dew cans from like a year ago or more. I don't... <laughs> I didn't ask him how he got them. I don't know if he just had cans of each of these three flavors. Just... He was collecting some sealed cans of limited edition Mountain Dew, and then he realized it was silly to keep them, so, and that he could put them to good use by giving them to me. Thank you, Matt, if that's the case. Or, uh, you know, maybe you have a good source to get old soda. I don't know. They're pretty old, so I don't know what they're going to taste like at this point. I have had all three of them in the past, but a while in the past, so I don't really remember them. Just wanted to make this video an extra few minutes.